What's up, Puss? It's your boy JT Automation back here with another video. I'm here with my brother Chris CJack130. If you're not following him on Instagram, be sure to follow him on Instagram. What we're going to talk about in this video is what you should actually do before you start trading and after your trading day. So without further ado, let's get into it. So appreciate you for coming back, man. Wow, so uh, let's start off with the basics. Um, when people say pre-market and post-market, like what are they referring to for people that don't even know the terminology? Okay, so pre-market is before the actual market opens. The market opens at 9.30. So pre-market is anything before 9.30. So I believe most started like 4 o'clock in the morning. So 4 to 9.29. That's pre-market. Post-market is from 4 o'clock until 8 p.m. Okay. All right. So, what do you do in the pre-market time? Uh, so I pray. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. But uh, so pre-market, what I normally do is I like to look at pre-market probably around the seven thirty-ish mark, mm -hmm. seven thirty, eight o'clock, and I want to see what level certain things are at. So I'm always marking what's my pre-market low. Okay, yeah. that's gonna be a level of support for me. And what's my pre-market high? That's gonna be a level of resistance for me because mm -hmm. sometimes the stock will trade in between the pre-market high and the pre-market low, and those are strong levels for you to be able to identify. Now, post-market, post-market, I don't do too much post-market because no matter what happens in the post-market, now we have to find out what's gonna happen in the pre-market. So post-market kind of runs to pre-market, but after me, after I trade every day, I journal. I okay. journal every day. I, I go back and look at all the trades that I took for the day. I say, did I get in at the right time? Did I make money, lose money? Should I have wait to get in? All those type of things. Did I follow my strategy? Yes or no, and all those type of things. All right. And how how does doing this in pre-market and post-market help you? Because I'm assuming, and just for the benefit of the new person out there too, while you're trading, everything is moving real fast. Mm -hmm. So what is the benefit of looking at this in pre-market instead of just waiting for the market to open mm -hmm. and then trying to see what it's doing live, I guess. Okay, so think about this. Think about you at a four-way stop and say all four cars come to that four-way stop at one time. Yep. If one car just say I'm just driving and another car just say they're driving without even looking to see which one going, which who going to let who go first, they're yeah. going to hit each other and be a big old crash, right? Yep. So pre-market, when you think about pre-market, if I know my pre-market high, my pre-market low, so when the market opens at 9.30, in the market and the stock starts to drop down, my first thing I wanna see is, is it going down to my pre-market low? You see what I'm saying? Or I'm looking at my levels of support. So if it's shooting down, shooting down, shooting down, and I see, okay, it's coming to my pre-market low, this may be an entry point for me to get in off of the bounce because it's sometimes in the pre-market, it would not drop below that pre-market low. So that may be an entry point for me. Okay. That's why you wanna identify what's your low, what's your high, so you would know where you at. All right. So, how many stocks do you personally evaluate in the pre-market? Uh, well, honestly, I, I evaluate about probably like mm, my main five. I evaluate those, mm. but sometimes we have like we have like a pre-market call in the morning because my Discord chat. So I may go through. 10 or 15, um, 10 or 15 stocks, you know, actually for what they're looking at. But also a lot of stocks that most people trade in our Discord chat, I kind of go through them every day just in case somebody asks a question, I have some type of idea of what's going on. But my main thing I do for my personal trade is those five. All right, so you're just looking for the, the high and the low, then you move on to the next one and try to identify yeah, so look what for, I, go ahead. Yep, yeah, look for the high, the high and the low, but then I'm looking for other things too. So in the class I teach, I go over, I go over chapters with you. In the go class, ahead. you actually write a book in our class, right? Okay. So, um, I go over like chapter one, chapter two, chapter three. So I'm looking at chapter, uh, different chapters to see what am I seeing. Like I'm looking for trend lines, I'm looking for DMT, certain things I'm looking for mm -hmm. uh, besides the support and resistance. All right, have you always traded this way by doing pre-market and post-market? So yeah. like what difference have you seen it made between before when you wasn't doing it mm -hmm. until now? So when I first started trading, the person who introduced me to it, they uh they show me how to set up my screen and they say, boom, go jump in the ocean, start swimming. Mm -hmm. And I started drowning. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I started drowning because I didn't have no understanding of it, right? So I wasn't doing any type of pre-market. I wasn't doing no support and resistance. I didn't know anything. I just knew that in this freaking market I could make some money, right? And that's yeah. what I saw. I started seeing trying to make money. But um, I feel like when I was getting into a trade, I was getting in blind. Yeah. I literally felt like I controlled the market. If I got in on the call, the thing's gonna go up, it went down. Yeah. If I got in on the put to go down, it went up. I felt like I was the catalyst to move the market the opposite way that I wanted to go. Yeah. But once I you know, once I sat down and 
man, let me get this. Let me understand what I'm doing. And I spent, I mean, I say hours, countless hours, back testing, spending time with the charts, falling asleep my phone in my hand, all that stuff. And then once you get to our start understanding, and that's where my chapters come from. So mm -hmm. now I look at my chapters, it tells me a story. You all see right. what I'm saying? And that's where I'm at. All right, so there you have it, you guys. One little nugget here. If you guys want to know all of the elements that go into the book, which you should if you want to consistently make money like Chris and our over a thousand students that are doing this and making real money, all right? Be sure to check out the links down in the description below for the most up-to-date class. If you got any questions, comments, concerns, put it in the premiere of this video. Put it down in the description below. And until next time, so I'm a hustler, stay hustling. JT Automations, I'm gone.